Whether you call it Kanba or Chuenba, I'm the Phantom Not taking a look at the company's PlayStation 4 arcade sticks. Before we get to the results, let's talk about how the lag testing is done for those unfamiliar. I used an Arduino Uno unit with the USB host shield for hardware. The sketch used to analyze the latency was compiled by Y. Hooking up a wire to both a button's input and to pin 7 of the host shield, the software was able to process 1000 inputs in quick succession and identify the timing of each. It's all compiled to analyze an average. Other info such as lowest and highest lag input and probability of input being read within frame or so are analyzed. For most people, it's important to know the native polling rate results because that's how sticks will work for consoles and PC in normal circumstances. Overclock polling rate results can be important as some devices and systems can force that mode but will be treated here as supplemental content. For more information about the testing process, please check inputlag.science. With this session, I tested the Drone, Crystal, Obsidian, and Dragon, as well as their individual modes. They've also been updated to their latest firmware builds. In order to properly update, boot up your respective sticks firmware and then plug in while holding the PlayStation button. Press the update button and wait until it's finished. You can find links to the firmware down below. With that said, let's begin. First up is the PlayStation 4 mode. What's really interesting is that outside of the Obsidian, the other three sticks that native mode set to 4 milliseconds averages the same at 3.5 milliseconds with inputs likely triggering in frame 80% of the time. The drone and crystal bear similarity the most here as they have the lowest and highest recorded inputs at 0.7 milliseconds and 8.8 .8 milliseconds respectively. The dragon's difference is that the highest input was recorded at 8.5 milliseconds. When it comes to the obsidian, its average latency was set at 3.7 milliseconds with 79% of those inputs likely activating in frame. The highest recorded input was at 9.4 milliseconds with the lowest at 0.7 milliseconds. Overclock mode set to 1 millisecond is somewhat the opposite. The drone, crystal, and dragon likely trigger in frame 84% of the time while the drone averages at 2.8 milliseconds with the other two at 2.9 milliseconds. The crystal and dragon's max lag input was at 5.5 milliseconds but the drone had a slight increase at 5.6 milliseconds. The lows for those three were at 0.7 milliseconds. The Obsidian was fascinating as the average was recorded at 1.6 milliseconds and 92% of those inputs triggering in frame. Its lowest input was at 0.7 milliseconds with the highest at 3.9 milliseconds. Up next is the PlayStation 3 mode. Unlike PS4 mode, the PS3 mode on these six vary a bit more. The Drone and Crystal are closest in native mode, set to 4 milliseconds as they average 6.6 .6 milliseconds and 6.7 milliseconds respectively, with inputs likely triggering on frame 61% of the time for both. For min max inputs, the drone has 1.6 and 11.9 milliseconds respectively, while the crystal is at 1.3 and 9.9 milliseconds respectively. The obsidian and dragon are paired with similar results, but not for the best. The former averages at 12.6 milliseconds, while the latter was at 12.5 milliseconds and the likeliness of inputs triggering in-frame for both was 26% of the time. The Obsidian's min-max inputs were recorded at 4.1 milliseconds and 18 milliseconds respectively, with the Dragon at 4.2 milliseconds and 17.9 milliseconds respectively. When overclocked, all four sticks are more unified. All output an average of 2.4 milliseconds with 87% of those recorded inputs likely occurring in-frame. The Drone and Crystal bear the same min-max latency inputs at 0.5 and 5.2 milliseconds respectively. The Obsidian and Dragon is similar with a 0.6 millisecond lowest recorded input, while the highest is at 5 and 5.1 milliseconds respectively. While all the Tuemba sticks work on PC, the Obsidian and Dragon do have dedicated X input based PC modes. The Obsidian averages at 6.5 milliseconds with inputs triggering 62% of the time, its lowest input goes at 1.2 milliseconds, while the highest was at 9.8 milliseconds. The Dragon averages at 5.8 milliseconds with inputs triggering on frame 66% of the time. That stick's lowest input is like the Obsidian at 1.2 milliseconds, while the highest was 10 milliseconds. Overclocked, the Obsidian went for a 2.4 millisecond average, with 84% of those inputs not skipping when triggered. The min-max inputs were at 0.5 and 5.2 milliseconds respectively. 
the Dragon bears a 1.3 millisecond average, with 93% of those 1,000 inputs triggering in frame. That 6 min max inputs were set at 0.5 and 2.7 milliseconds respectively. At least for the native mode on PS4, how did these 6 perform against the rest of the list on InputLag.Science? Well, the E6 can be placed towards the upper end, beating out some of Hori's work such as the PS4 Fighting Edge and the Real Arcade Pro 4N. When it comes to officially licensed sticks on the list, the Razer Pantera beats out all of Tremba's sticks with outputting 2.7 milliseconds on average, with 85% of those 1,000 inputs happening on time. Ultimately, the Universal Fighting Board by Brook is still the king. Even then, the Tremba sticks are still good latency-wise on PS4 mode. The consistency is not there with the PS3 mode on the sticks, sadly. The Drone and Crystal can be put in the upper mid area of the list. It's acceptable, but I wish it could be better. The Obsidian and Dragon are considerably lower to the point I'd rather not bother using those modes. Good thing the PS4 mode works on PS3, albeit at the sacrifice of losing the PlayStation button, but it's worth it. The PC mode found on the Obsidian and the Dragon are also not spectacular to the point I will still suggest using the PS4 mode as well. The four Chuemba sticks are not the fastest as of this video, but they still have good low latency that most players will be fine with. Players should just stick with the PlayStation 4 mode as it benefits the most. The Obsidian, arguably the most popular stick of the bunch, is technically slower for the native rate, but the minor increase in latency is nothing to worry too much about. If Chuemba can improve the stick's latency on future updates, that would be welcoming. On a side note, if the PlayStation 5 allows for forced overclocking on previous generation controllers, that will be great as well for these sticks. Until next time, thank you for watching.